that cool next week. But I was browsing for more than R, but not more information gathered. If someone can say about black hole to me, it's useful for my project. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light can't get out. Black holes form when the center of a very massive star collapses in upon itself. So, you are saying that even light cannot escape from black hole's gravity. Am I right? Yes, we can even say that black hole has got its name because there is no light in there. When power goes off and there is no light, I can't even see the thing next to me. So, if black holes are black, how do scientists know they are present? Even though black hole is invisible, scientists can see the effect of its strong gravity on stars and gases around it. For instance, when a black hole and a star are orbiting close together, eye energy light is produced. Scientific instrument can see the eye energy light. So, this is the secret of the invisible body and we have decoded it the right way. While I was browsing about the black hole, I came across a famous theorem based on this. Can you guess that? Who does not know it? It's Newton's theorem of general relativity. But I don't have any idea how it is related to a black hole. I'll let you know about it. Nobody knew anything about black holes until general relativity said they could exist. In general relativity, mass wraps space-time depending on the mass density and so when you pack a lot of mass in a very small area, space-time curves so severely that it even traps light. I got it. We all know how a black hole is formed. But does it live forever? They will eventually evaporate and fade into nothingness and this was predicted by Stephen Hawking. It takes millions and trillions of years for the black hole to disappear. So, we need to wait for millions of years to see the black hole die and because we aren't immortals, we can't experience its death. So, it means that a person in his lifespan cannot experience both birth and death of a black hole. Yes, you are right. And do you know there are four kinds of known black holes? The stellar black hole, the massive black holes, the supermassive black holes, the ultramassive black holes. Then there are microscopic black holes, but there are just a theory. As we hear these names, we get idea of how massive these black holes are. True though, we know that human body, trees, microorganisms, birds, animals have parts. In the same way, black hole has their own parts. And I will say you about it, black holes are really very simple as they have just two main parts, the event horizon, the singularity. The event horizon is the outer limit of the black hole but is not a physical surface, it's an invisible bubble in space. The singularity at the center of a black hole is the ultimate no man's land, a place where matter is compressed down to an infinitely tiny point. It is as simple as that. So, if we start talking about black holes, the talk goes endless. NASA has also found a lot more about them in the past two years, like telling the expansion rate of universe using black hole, Fermi hunts for gravitational waves, and so on. They have even captured echoes from black holes. Thanks for the information. Now I think I know a lot of information about black hole and I am sure that I am ready to do my project on next week. Not much is known about black holes but science is making new discoveries every day. This is what they are looking at. What happens to space and time near a black hole? What role do black holes play in the unfolding universe? What happens inside a black hole?